Hey, Geeks, Tim Tippett's with MajorGeeks.com, continuing our look at the different Windows 10 anti-spy apps today with 10 anti-spy, or spy cleaner, or I don't know what he's calling it here, but for the most part, it's 10antispy.com. Not too difficult to use this one, has its pros and cons as they all do. Let's take a look. One of the things this program can do is delete your Metro apps, which some of the other ones do, however, at least for this one, if you do it, they will not be restored. You can't get them back. So it has an advanced mode, which is a tad confusing because there's nothing really top secret up there. It just kind of blanks it out. You want to create a system restore point, as you may or may not have noticed. I don't use system restore, so I use images, so I always have mine off. You can uh, delete any key logger telemetry. Once again, there is no mouse over. There's no good explanation for this. Add spy domains to the host file and block a Windows firewall. A couple other things in here you don't usually want to disable Windows Defender. Once again, it has no you know, real way to tell you what this stuff is all about. So I'd like to see a little bit of that. That would be nice. And you've seen that in some of these other programs we looked at. They don't always give you a good explanation. So let's look at the utilities. You can open and edit your host file, restore your system, delete OneDrive, remove the old firewall rules, disable telemetry in Office 2016 if you have it, enable or disable user account control, you know your users. And for some reason, I don't know why people keep messing around with this, uh, enable or disable Windows updates. Very, very rare that there's a good situation where you want to do that. Anywho, it's there. So the nice thing about this is all you got to do is click here to start the spy cleaner and it will run through and you can kind of just watch it spin by. Not much you can actually read it to the speed that it goes. It's very, very fast. And when it's done, there's a couple quick things to look at. You can reboot, but we'll not worry about that right now. It does edit your host file. If you haven't seen a host file, it just tells people where to go. It explains it here. Here's the IP address and then the name. So if it vortex.data.microsoft.com comes along, it goes to 0.0.0.0. .0. So that stops it from coming to your computer and sending data back and forth because it gets rerouted essentially. So what you could do if you ever had a problem with this, which is nice that it has the shortcut, you could drag and drop all this stuff, hit delete. That's what your host file looks like before you touched it. Close it save it so if you have any problems say you're on the internet and your web browser won't take you somewhere that you want to go it could be because it modified something in that firewall or i'm sorry excuse me in the host file that may have screwed up where you're going and finally any other things you're wondering about or concerned about you can come into the log file that it created and you can take a look through here at the firewall rules what it blocked all the tasks that it blocked, etc. Should you have a problem, there is no check, uncheck in any of this stuff. So essentially, you have to go back and use System Restore to go back. So if you're looking for an easy way to restore by select all, unselect all, it's not here. So, and that sounds like one heck of a big thunderstorm down here in Florida coming on. So I better wrap this up before I get shut down. Thank you for watching, as always, and we will see you next time.